Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding row function that is a DAX function in Power BI. So the row function it returns a single row table. As we have seen here, this single row table has been returned by the use of row function. And basically what is row function? It returns a table with a single row containing values that result from the expressions given by the each column. So whatever expression we are giving, it will return the a single row table. So syntax is like this row and you can give the column name and then the expression whatever you can use the aggregation expression also now we have given here the example of an aggregation expression so we will try to do an example with respect to the row function so now which we are having a table we are having a table of certain uh, championship or marathon championships and the number of wins by the world champion so we will use the row function calculate the sum of all these wins and we will show it in this table so for that we will create a table so in the modeling we will create new table. The new table name we can give it as total wins equals to row. The name we can give it as total wins. And the expression is sum of this column. So that means Kipchoge wins. So that's it. It has taken the sum of this entire wins and it will be shown here. And we will select this. And this is actually a metric table and we will select it and we will select it. This. So we have created a row, a table with one row using the row function. Now what we can do is can append this to this table and we can show it here. So we can create a new table and for that we will do, we can create a new table. Table name, we can give it as final table equals to. So when we use the row function, it will create a new table and we need to append it to this existing table. So what we can do is that we can use union and then we can give the existing table existing table is what the name of the existing table is Kipchoge and now we will give the second table that is the second table we are going to give is row and the name for that is the first name will be what we can give is name this name this name itself we can give because that is a column name and the column name we are going to the value we are going to give here is total total wins and the next name here it is wins the column name means wins so we will give the same and here the value is summarize sum of Kipchoge wins so we will see whether it is correct whether it is working properly so we got the final table we will expand the final table. We will select this visual. We will select the name and we will select the wins. And here we will sort by wins and let it be ascent. So we got the total wins and we got all the values which were here in the correct table also. And it got appended in the exact table. So in this way, row can be used. Hope it was a wonderful video for you. Have a nice day.